So we're on a mission to find Steph's phone because it just dropped about 50 meters. Off a cliff into a canyon. Hi, we're Mike and Steph, a couple from the UK who earlier in 2021 quit our jobs, bought a camera and booked a one-way ticket to go traveling. So far we've had an incredible time in Mexico and Guatemala and now we're in the US as we embark on a road trip to as many national parks as possible. Next up, Canyonlands. So for the next seven days we are in Moab, Utah. We're here for a week, we're going to be visiting our final two Utah national parks, Canyonlands and Arches. But first up, let's get to our lovely motel. Welcome to Moab and welcome to the Virginian Motel. So this is going to be our home for the next week. Um, so luckily it's actually quite a nice motel room. First of all, we've got a fabulous Hollywood mirror glamour station. Put all the amazing lights out <laughs> we're gonna have. A lovely bathroom which honestly has the most towel selection we've ever had. Look at that. Already taken one towel. Moving through. Quite dark room with honestly I think the smallest bed we've experience so far. We do have a coffee machine with a tiny little carafe. And we do have a nice view on a Moab park. A little river. Fantastic. <laughs> so this is, as we said, our home for the next seven days. Um, for tonight we are just going to chill out and get some food. We'll see you tomorrow for our next National Park. Good morning. We are in Canyonlands, a new national park for us. Mm -hmm. At sunrise, we've come here to be quiet and alone as we look at Mesa Arch, a very unpopular arch to yes. photograph really, in the morning. Really secret. No one here. No one knows about it. Yes, hidden gem. Hidden gem. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Someone else knows about the arch. <laughs> incredible very scary drop <laughs> and there's the arch where all the other plonkers are don't need an arch anyway the most amazing conversation in my entire life, which is a photographer and his wife. The photo photographer was saying, I need the sun to be a bit lower. And she was like, what do you mean? She's like, I need the sun to come down. And she said, but it's sunrise. And he went, oh my God, oh yeah. <laughs> one of the most stupidest things I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna relax here now and let you enjoy the rest of this beautiful view. You won't believe this. <laughs> but do you wanna tell the people what has happened? My phone fell out of my pocket. Her phone has just fallen down there. Oh, sh oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> we can't see it. I don't know if it's even still working. No, it fell down like a <laughs> canyon. At least the car keys didn't fall down. Stupid pockets. It went off the edge of the cliff into the canyon. Um, no, I'm serious. Can we try and see if there's a way down? Well, this episode just got a little bit more interesting. We have a new objective of the day, not just to take nice pictures and enjoy the views. Retrieve Steph's phone from the depths of the canyon. 
<laughs> Look on the bright side, at least it was your phone, not mine. That's true. What's the genius plan then? Hike round the mountain, try and find a way down. So we're gonna try and go all the way around there and see if we can come back along to find this phone. To, what's the word? Tomfoolery. <laughs> Pointless mission. Human tracks and horse tracks. We're not the only ones looking for the phone. It's been four days now. We're still looking. There's a chance. Steph just said this feels like a fool's errand. We don't know if we can truly get down and walk around, but on with the pointless pilgrimage. It is beautiful though, and we are going somewhere that people don't come for obvious reason. No, you can definitely not go down here. It is deceivingly far, isn't it? We just need to get down here. Turns out, there's too many canyons in canyon land. It's just made up of canyons, and wherever you go, there's just a cliff edge. This is sad. Come here. You put all the hope in me, and now you've crushed it. <laughs> if you imagine that cliff top here where we were, cliff bottom here, it's right in the middle. Yeah. No idea how you get to that. So, we'll catch you in a bit. Um, we're just gonna I'm enjoy gonna the enjoy views it. and yeah. walk back to our car without Steph's phone. We really hoped for a really fun, redemptive arc there. Mm. Simply the failure arc, but... <laughs> failure is the greatest teacher. The greatest teacher failure is... Mm, I don't agree with that. <laughs> Okay, I think Steph has come to terms with the situation. Yeah, I've made peace with it. I'm quite looking forward to not having a phone. <laughs> She's in good spirits, we're in good spirits. It's kind of funny, and the phone literally bounced. Like it <laughs> boinged. Like a couple in slow motion. Yeah. We both just watched it. <laughs> At least we, I didn't, you know, go out and grab and fall off the cliff myself. That is a good thing. That's... Maybe we'll pick him up in like 10 years' time when we come back at some point. Anyway, we're going to continue our day and we're on to Grand View Point next, and we're going to explore a bit more of Canyonlands with one phone. Yes. Guess what? Lots of canyons. So we're about to go to Dead Horse State Park. We got to the entrance and it turns out it is $20 to get in, which usually we'd be okay with paying if we'd research what there is to do there. So for $20 right now and without the research and with us being very hungry, 
I don't think it's the right thing to do. So we turned around, we're gonna go back and get some, I mean, it's almost, ten, it's just past 10 a.m. now. We've been up since five. We are pretty hungry for food. And one of us is particularly excited with the idea of breakfast since she has lost her phone, etc. this morning, has a sad morning, so. I deserve a fantastic, fantastic breakfast. Exactly, she deserves a breakfast for throwing her phone off a canyon. Yes. So we're gonna go and get some food. And we might come back to Dead Horse State Park at some point. Dinosaurs later, though. <laughs> we are at the Paleo Safari. Um, so basically, Moab, there were quite a lot of dinosaur tracks. And I believe some bones found all around here. So there's a whole like dinosaur thing. So we're doing like a, a dinosaur safari. For anyone who doesn't know, when I was growing up, walking with dinosaurs was one of my favorite things ever. The BBC documentary and like, 1999, fantastic, highly recommend. Anyway, so this is fantastic, brilliant. <laughs> she was watching it last night. <laughs> have to, you know, brush up on my knowledge. Just to <laughs> inform you that it, um, it's like 4 p.m. when we decided to do this and it is honestly about 40 degrees. So, you know, getting into the real spirit of the Triassic period. <laughs> We're in the Jurassic period now. Oh, shit. One of my fake boys, the Diplodocus. They're so excited to see us. Hello. Iguanodon. Hey boys. <laughs> there you go, a totally uninformative, but hopefully <laughs> enthusiastic tour around our paleo safari and we're gonna now go into the gift shop <laughs> she's happier now since she lost her phone she's had a really good day it's a nice dinosaur time for her yeah who cares about phones who cares about phones exactly we're gonna go and get some food and So you'll be happy to know we got away from the dinosaur, we survived. Survived the T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in a little bit of movie magic. Uh -huh. The dinosaurs weren't actually real, we were just acting. So, pretty impressive. <laughs> we are now at Dead Horse Point State Park. And the sun is setting beautifully, we have another hour and a bit until then. We've gone away, we've made a plan. We've basically come packed with snacks and dinner and we're gonna eat here watching the sun go down at uh, the viewpoint. Um, we're going to have a classic South African sundowner in Utah, in a canyon. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, um, the ranger's computer crashed at the point where we were paying, so we've got it for free! <laughs> Under budget today, baby! So we looked up the reason why it's called Dead Horse Point State Park. I was hoping it would be some quirky little story, but no, it's horrifying. Yeah, it turns out it's because cowboys used to corral horses onto this, this point above the water. They'd pick the horses they would want, and they would just leave the others for dead, waterless, on this point. So hence, Dead Horse Point State Park. Very sad. Stupid cowboys. Stupid cowboys. <laughs> Right, back to the car, gonna get our food and go back to a lovely spot for sunset. There you go. So, <laughs> we've got a lovely bucket of, of drinks and, uh, and dessert in 
what is now water was ice. Uh, we've got a charcuterie tasting board on a fake wooden board, some chips, and some apples. Ice cold drink, my La Croix Pompomous. This is just incredibly idyllic. We've got our little seats, we've got our La Croix Pomplemousse and a lager. We've got our charcuterie board. Prost. Cheers. Cheers. Prost. Prost. Come Just balance it over here. <laughs> Gonna enjoy our charcuterie and our sunset. Good cowboys. <laughs>